hello guys welcome it is a beautiful day and I am out delivering microgreens and I'm actually alone which I usually have kids with me but I have been trying to find some inspiration to decorate for fall I've done a little bit at home and I don't know it's it's been a beautiful fall you can kind of see I'm parked along the river for a minute it's been a beautiful fall. I just feels like things have been really busy for some reason. But today I'm feeling uh, fall inspired. It's chilly and cool and just really pretty. So I thought I might um, stop by a thrift shop on the way home. Today I want to decorate my dining room and bring you along with me. My dining room is dark and intimate and cozy. My style is timeless and more of a traditional kind of a classic style. Maybe leaning a little towards dark academia as well. And I was feeling inspired to redo one of my walls in the dining room. I've been looking on Pinterest and saw some ideas for doing like a propagation wall um, in dark academia spaces. I thought maybe I would look specifically for some clear glass containers at the thrift shop. And this particular thrift shop I haven't been to in a very long time. It's in a different town than I live in. And it's also kind of, <laughs> it's very eclectic. I don't wanna say messy, but there's a lot going on and it's not super well organized. But she usually has good prices and just, you never know what you're gonna find there, which is kind of fun. So I thought since we're here and I don't have kids in tow, I would bring you along and we'd see what we could find. Then we'll go home and decorate the dining room. Thanks for coming along with me. always interested to know what is going to catch your eye as you're shopping along with me. Um, there's some things that I'll be picking up and kind of showing you more closely and why don't you go ahead and just guess what I actually end up coming home with and we'll go back home and I'll actually give you a little thrift haul uh, and see how close you were. How well do you guys know me?
So than a lot of them that I've seen. I got this tray for a couple dollars. The bottom is missing, but the lady said that this was um, part of her family's collection, and I really like the handles and thought I would do a DIY project picture frame or make my own tray out of this. Found this really pretty fruit plate, Imperial China. I thought this would be perfect for fall. I love the colors and I have a whole mural of plates behind my stove in my kitchen. And it has a really nice uh, patina, crackle finish patina on the back. So I think it's actually quite old, but the colors are gorgeous. You know, I'm always looking for books, especially books with good color. 
And if the content is good, um, I'm going to snatch them up if they have pretty bindings and when covers. So this is Collected Poems of Emily Dickinson. A nice chocolatey brown color. Perfect for fall, so that was great. My dining room is green, and so I'm always looking for green books. With linen covers, this is National Parks book with a pretty white and green linen cover. And then this one isn't in as good of shape. This is Florals. It's a botanical book. American Wildflowers. So I really like that. So I just take the jackets off those. I just like the, the natural linen bindings in the, for the books. This is a microscope box. She said that the microscope had been stolen out of it, which is too bad. But there's still some slides and uh, kind of a velvet covering. But I really, really liked the box. Experimenter today, scientist tomorrow, scholastic microscope. And kind of this um, pretty red-brown box. This is perfect for um, dark academia. And also, if you didn't know, I am was a nurse, and so I collect a lot of vintage medical equipment, old bottles and things. So this may go in my office when we redo that together. This whole box is Dickinson Village figurines, and I have been looking for a whole complete Dickinson Village or something similar for a long time for Christmas. And she had a whole complete set, plus some duplicates, that she just wanted to get rid of. So $30 for the whole set, and that's going to be super fun for Christmas. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine houses plus some figurines in there. So I'm excited about that. That's, that's really exciting. Books, linens, containers, picture frames, those are all things that I'm looking for. I found this whole bag of vintage or, well they're handmade doilies for shade, handmade. This looks like, this is a little balance, window balance. But I'm always turning these into other things. Um, so I may not use them as table runners or doilies necessarily. Um, sometimes I turn them into you know, a vintage banner or something like that. But I'll just use some of these as doilies too. My grandma used to crochet, and so this is a little bit sentimental for me because it reminds me of her. And so there's just a lot of really pretty, delicate little doilies. Dresser, cloths, handkerchiefs, the lace. So these are great as is or for other little DIY projects, and there's just a bunch in here. And the handmade craftsmanship in these, like, I'll give them a new home. Don't worry. See, this one has some holes in it, so this could be a good repurposed DIY, or you could just fold it in half and use it half, you know? Silver tray was $20, but again, she gave me a deal on everything because so this is an Oneida silver, Made in the USA silver tray. That is so, so pretty and heavy too. I like trays for serving trays, not necessarily for warm food, but maybe use it as decor or to set other little serving containers for maybe a bottle of wine on. I think we'll style that together here in just a bit. I'm gonna have to Google image these. Ooh. These lamps. I don't know if you can see this, but this is a really pretty mustard yellow color, and there's some painted florals on here. They're kind of old and chippy looking. I just think these lamps are so pretty. There's two of them, so I'm gonna have to look them up. But she gave me both for $8. And these will probably go in my office when I redo that as well because it's gonna be a really dark academia. Maybe you do green or dark uh, burgundy color or a chocolate brown color in there. So stay tuned, but these would be so pretty. Old lamps like this are really easy to rewire too if I need to do this. I'll have to ask my husband, but these are the old cords 
Um, so I probably shouldn't use those. I'll probably rewire them, which is no big deal. Lastly, what we went in there for were some glass containers for um, maybe making a propagation shelf, a little propagation station in here. And so I did find some glass containers. I found this glass apothecary jar with a lid. I may not use the lid, we'll see. I found this old glass jar, it needs to be washed. This is a drinking glass, but there was only one. It could be a vase, maybe it's a vase. But um, it's a really pretty shape and you can see the floral etching on this. Maybe if I hold it this way. Super pretty. Oh yes. So I found this glass bottle I thought would be pretty. And I found this cloche. It needs to be clean, which I thought would be perfect for dark academia. You know, you think dark academia, you think cozy library feel, so with books, um, specimens. And then I found this. I just really love, love the detail on this. I think what it was was a probably two of these like and they went like this and it was um probably a towel rack or something but it's really heavy and I love the metal work the metal detail and so I'll probably hang on to this and repurpose this I mean it looks kind of like it could be a candle holder but maybe I'll use this as a like a towel holder in my laundry room when we get that repainted as well we find some glass containers so let's work on cleaning up this dining room and making it a little more fall friendly. <laughs> Thank you.
Well, my friends, we did it together. We decorated the dining room and I think it turned out beautiful. I hope you were inspired to decorate a space in your home for fall or even just give a space a little TLC, a little cleaning up. I want to thank you so much for watching and also for subscribing. It helps the channel grow and it helps support our family. So thank you for being here. I would love for you to let me know in the comments what you think about this space. Let me know the design styles you love. Let me know the types of content, especially design and decor, you would love to see more of from me. Stick around on the channel and watch lots more thrifty decor idea videos. And until next week, take care.